Well, typically this time of year is when you and your family may go visit the zoo. And today we thought it would be fun to bring the zoo to you. Joining us for Critters Uncaged all the way from Miller Park Zoo, it's education specialist Shannon Reedy. Hey, Shannon. Hi, how are you over there? We're doing great. How's everything going at the zoo? Well, it's very quiet. We are just kind of managing our business as we can from home, and the keepers are here taking care of the critters, um, doing a great job, really hanging in there. So, yeah. Okay, so what are y'all doing there in the meantime? You mentioned you've got your, uh, your zookeepers there. What are y'all doing during the day? Well, they're doing their regular routines. Um, the animals need fed, exhibits need cleaned, maintenance projects need done, um, veterinary care. So there's all of that still going on. Want to make sure animal welfare does not suffer during any of this time. We were making sure of that. Um, we are doing a lot of public education. We're doing a 10 at 30 a.m. live Facebook Sunday through Wednesday. Um, and then some videos that they're posting up different other days of the week so that people can keep connected with the zoo. We want to make sure everybody stays connected. Well, tell me a little bit about where you're at right now. What are you doing? Well, I'm in Zoo Lab. I am in our Zoo Lab exhibit. We have a lot of different little enclosures in, in, in here with different animals. And I thought it'd be fun if we got to see some animals that I don't get to take on the road with me um, who cannot come visit the studio. Um, so today we're going to visit with the, um, we have two female Gila monsters. So I have one of the zookeepers, Eric. He is in the back and he is going to be um, giving them their weekly mouse. Ooh, is this mouse dead or alive? It's dead. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure we if we were see some action. Well, hopefully a little, but not that kind. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we find that it's just much, oh, see, they're excited. Uh, it, it's much safer to give them food that's already been humanely euthanized. Yes. Um, yes. It's also going to be kinder to the little critter that's going to be food. Oh, here he goes. To, to make sure it's euthanized. So, Does he have to sniff it first? There we go. Yeah, just kind of making sure what it is because they don't have good eyesight. These guys have very poor eyesight, so they have to sniff it out, um, make sure that it is what they thought it was. <laughs> so in the wild, they're going to do a little shaking and um, oh, and yeah. make, making sure that it's it's dead. They're tr going to try to kill it. Oh yeah, um, good. So these are there. these are yeah these are two females. The Gila monsters are um, one of two types of venomous lizards. Venomous in the really? world, and they are venomous. Yep. So the, it is the nice of you to keep them there. <laughs> yes, exactly. The reason they do not hit the road, and uh, that's why Eric's using tongs as well. So, so how often do they get, eat? Do they eat a mouse? Once, they, they eat one mouse once a week. Oh. Okay. They get some eggs occasionally for treats. Interesting. Here and there. Mm -hmm. But they don't require much food. It's one of those um, reptile because they're not going to have food available all the time to them. They need to be able to store up near the nutrition that they get for times that when it's lean. Um, so you can see their tails are a little bit chubby. That's where they would store that extra nutrition, sort of like a camel stores in its hump. Interesting. And where are these originally found? They're found in the, the desert southwest U.S. and in New Mexico. Oh, okay. I, I think yeah. we've also got, um, do you have some meerkats nearby too hanging out? Oh, we do. We have two beautiful, wonderful, lovely meerkats. She's right there in the log. Can you see her? Oh. Oh, yes, yes, Just yes. straight ahead. See her. Well, they are excited. I thought that they might like a treat. Um, you might think that it's cappuccino, some crystal light. But in fact, they're, empty, they're boxes that we emptied out as human beings. And I filled them up with crickets. And oh. so we're going to chuck those in here and let them have a chance. Oh, there it is. There it is. And oh. those crickets out of the boxes. Are they alive crickets? They are alive, which makes them much more exciting and fun. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them just peeking out there at you. <laughs> awesome voice. They're so not used to people right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, well, well looks, come like, on. looks like they're come ready on. for a treat. Oh, there's another one up there in the top corner. How many are in there? Two. Two? These are 
Yep, their siblings are 13 years old. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Is that an average age for a meerkat? Actually, they've exceeded their life expectancy now. Okay. They're little yep, they were born here at the zoo many moons ago. Aww. So they're some personal favorites of mine. Yeah, there they are. Well, they look like they're too intimidated to eat their snack right now because the camera's on them or they're being shy. So lots yes. of fun there happening behind the scenes at Miller Park Zoo. So we encourage everyone to check you out online. Oh, yes. We hope to be here open and ready. We'll be ready for you whenever we can open. Okay. Well, we hope they enjoy their mouse and crickets, and um, we will visit with you again soon, I hope. Thanks, Heather. You're welcome. Hey, for more information on everything happening here during the shutdown at Miller Park Zoo, their website will be found on hours after today's show at CILiving.tv.